Today my husband's teaching me how to make these steak sandwiches that he makes so well. And he's got me starting with this aioli. So we're going to do an A1 style aioli, I guess. It's a little bit of mayonnaise. We've got some garlic, some thyme in there. We cut a lemon in half and we squeeze half the lemon juice into that cup. And then we take the other half and we're going to zest a little bit of it into the cup. Um, my husband uses this bougie tool. I don't even know what it was and I did it wrong and it sprayed everywhere, <laughs> but I ended up getting the, the zest in there after the fact. We put a little salt and pepper in there and mixed it on up and it tasted really, really good. And then he has me add about a teaspoon, maybe a little more of A1 into it and mix that on up. And that was, oh my God, you guys, I tasted it afterwards and it was freaking phenomenal. And I could not wait to get this on this steak sandwich. <laughs> Once it's done, I set it off to the side and he gets started on the sandwiches. So he puts a little bit of ham and a little bit of butter in the middle of this stove on that griddle part, I guess. Um, then he takes a bunch of hoagie rolls and browns them on there. And you can see on the other side, he's cooking up some onions too. He puts our steak in the middle and cooks that out. And he made them really, really big. So it was really filling and I could not eat both of the sandwiches that he made me. Look how good that looks though. He takes this burger seasoning, um, I think it's a Weber seasoning, and he puts that on both sides of the steak. He puts them into piles and he's gonna stick some provolone cheese on top of each one of those piles in just a second. Then after he sticks the cheese on, he does this genius move. He takes a pan, a sheet pan of ours, and puts it on top so that the cheese melts better because <laughs> I guess it locks in all the heat, all the steam, and it just makes it a little meltier. Then he's gonna dress those sandwiches up with the aioli we made and some onions. And he puts a little bit more time on it and it was so freaking good!